Voters don't want a Trump-Biden rematch in 2024. So how come they're still ahead? Nora Garland was in high school when President Joe Biden faced off against former President Donald Trump during the 2020 election. Garland, an 18-year-old first-time unregistered voter in Concord, New Hampshire, a key primary state, said she hopes the 2024 election does not come down to a rematch between the two candidates. But if is, she said, would do anything to vote against Trump, even if that means casting their first general election vote for Biden. Who is not his first choice? I think Trump's second term will be very similar to his first, Garland said. I am very concerned about the peaceful transfer of power after his second term. I think Trump comes in with a lot of nonsense and stress that wouldn't be good for the country. Garland is one of many voters dissatisfied with the party's leading candidates. An Associated Press NORC poll conducted from November 30 to December 4 found that just over 50 percent of Americans would be somewhat or very dissatisfied if Trump were the Republican nominee and Biden was the Democratic choice. Similarly, the Economist YouGov poll conducted between December 912 found a similar majority of voters opposed to Biden and Trump's 2024 race. This sentiment has only grown as voters head into the primary season. Although many voters are unhappy with the election overall, there is strong support for both candidates from both parties. According to Charles Franklin, director of the Marquette Law School poll, experts said multiple factors played a role in this phenomenon. The system of nominating contests that lead to convention. The party nomination then general election really favors candidates with strong visibility. Fundraising abilities and support, said Mina Bose, executive dean of public policy service programs. Why can Trump and Biden maintain their lead in the polls? Franklin said that despite job approval being low among all voters, Biden's strength was demonstrated by the lack of serious opposition from governors or senators in the primaries. Multiple state and national polls show Biden leading one of his rivals. Rep. Dean Phillips, D. Min, by more than 60 or 70 points. It would take a revolt of very large proportions within the party to prevent an incumbent president from running, said Grant Reher, a political science professor at Syracuse University. One has go back to the Vietnam War and Lyndon Johnson find anything approaching this. Biden's Narrow win over Trump in 2020 made Democratic leaders, strategists, donors and voters more risk-averse and less willing to accept change. Reher said, Biden and the Democratic National Committee raised over $71 million for his re-election campaign from July to September. This is an indication of his strong support. The former president's situation is a little different. Following the 2022 midterm elections that failed to produce a red wave, there was some disappointment.